You know nothing, Jon Snow. Feels so good. Get off. <laughs> ah! Welcome to my channel. My name is Kat, and today we are going to create this White Walker look from Game of Thrones. There were some things that I learned along the way, and some things I would do differently. But we talk about that in the tutorial. This really isn't hard to do, it just took a lot of time because I used a lot of latex. Um, to create the lines, and I didn't realize that you cannot blend eyeshadow over top of liquid latex. And also, my face is wrecked for the rest of my life. Pretty sure. Anyways, guys, let's get into the tutorial. Please make sure to thumbs up this video if you enjoy it. I'm going to sneeze because my face is literally just caked with latex. Mm-hmm. Please subscribe if you feel like subscribing because this took me a lot of work and uh, yeah. Let's get into it mates. Ask me how itchy my face is right now. This half of my face off of camera because to be honest with you I've never really worked with any of these products so I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out and guess what I still am not 100% sure. I did glue down my eyebrows. I've never done this before. I just took Elmer's non-toxic glue, glued down the brow. So for the eyebrow, I took this scar putty. It looks like, well, this now. It's, it feels weird. This is, uh, it's like, almost like wet gum. What? So I'm just sculpting an eyebrow. It is, uh, it's quite sticky. I just tried to shape this the best that I could to the thick eyebrow, like brow bone. Oh shit, okay. Yeah. Or this is actually like scar putty, so I don't think it's meant for what I'm doing, but I did it. Now I bought liquid latex from Spirit Halloween. This is uh, what we're working with here. And I'm just using a makeup brush like these. And I just poured some into a cap. And um, using, it's called I think children's clay foam. <laughs> you, I sculpted uh, these little pinner horns. I'm pretty sure they're not the same size at all. And the edges are pretty thick. I wish that I would have made them thinner, but this, again, isn't meant for making a prosthetic. I just was like, oh, I'm pretty sure I could do this. And um, it crumbles. So I'm just gonna dip this into the liquid latex. Da, 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 da. Na na na, oh hello. Now this is not hard to do, it's just, it's time consuming. So I'm, I don't know if you can, you can probably just see it looks glossy, but I did the outline of his kind of wrinkly skin, all in liquid latex. So I'm going to create the lines as well, as I am going to go over top of the eyebrow. Na 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 na, and all around that horn. Na na na. So what I'm hoping for is that when I apply the paint over top of it, you'll be able, it'll look just like his wrinkly skin. Or it could turn into a huge disaster and peel off. I'm not sure. Okay, and then we're just going to do a shit ton of lines. You should, if you are doing this, you should pull a reference picture out of the Night King maybe, but mine's not going to be exactly the same, obviously. And then I'm going to go underneath my actual eyes, like a circle, just like this one. Because his eyes look really sunken in. Oh, shit. 
shoot. So I want that part to be pretty thick. And then I'm going to do some line work here. So I'm going to do some towards the nose. And then I want a lot of them going towards the lips. And the ones that are starting to dry, I go over top of again, just to make sure that it's thick enough to see. Na, 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 na. How am I going to get this off? It's a mystery to both you and me. Okay, I'm going to let this dry and wash my hands, and um, we'll be back for the second part. Mm -hmm. So I just took some acrylic paint and started painting my face, and you can kind of see the lines, but honestly, for the amount of work that it took to create them, I honestly, I could have just made them with eyeshadow. I'm I'm not gonna get angry right now because uh, I just didn't know I didn't know and now I know am I pleased oh no I'm not oh no I'm not that's okay uh, that one's peeling right off because why wouldn't it now be careful when you're painting it because the latex can peel and uh, rip off all that hard work that we did that's already for nothing anyway, so that's neat. Okay. So yeah, you can see some of the line work coming through, but I mean... It's not at all what I thought. I thought I was going to have this really cool effect. But we're not quite done, so... Da -da 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 -da. So we're going to leave around our eyes because we're going to do those black. We're going to let this paint dry. So I've learned some things while I've been gone. Yeah. Um, okay, so I went into my waterline and did some black eyeliner. So I went over top of the paint with the latex, and then I discovered that eyeshadow doesn't really go over top of latex very well. So we're just going to do what we can with this and move along. I'm taking the liquid lip in Drug Lord by Jeffree Star white and I'm gonna do my lips white and then we're gonna <laughs> sorry then we're gonna go over top of them with the gray shadow so I am taking the Jeffree Star alien palette and I'm going into the black one called black hole I believe yes it is and I am just going to absolutely cover my eye socket. I'm going to come right down onto the paint even though again it this is not liking that. The shadow is really not wanting to blend on there and I didn't know that. Now I know that. Na -na -na. And I'm going to try. See on here on the brow it's going on okay-ish, but not great, not great at all. Darken up what I can. I feel bad for me. I'm just going to do some shading with that black because it doesn't go on as pigmented. It definitely goes on gray. Like, it's just, these lines are not... Yeah, I thought I was going to be able to blend them out and do something cool, but really it just kind of looks like tiger stripes a little bit, but... Hey, hey, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I'm just going to do some of those lines in the black shadow. See, it's 
it's working on top of the paint not too bad, which is great, but it's that liquid latex that does not want to play with this at all. Next I'm taking a black gel liner, or liquid liner. God damn, that does not look good. And I'm going to try to do some filling in here, what I can. And I'm going to go on the brow, try to make kind of not super duper looking hair like strokes, but at least you can see where the brow bone is supposed to be. Then let's go down the face. Okay, next I'm taking a gray in the Alien palette called Tall Gray. And I'm just blending, trying to blend what I can. And I'm just taking a white shadow and... I mean, I don't know how I could mess this look up anymore, but let's see. If this is even going to do anything, probably not, because... You cannot blend on top of liquid latex, and nobody told me. I didn't do my research either. I should have looked that up, but I just assumed. And that was my first mistake, wasn't it? Okay, well that's helped a little bit to blend out that freaking super harshness of the transition line that I thought was going to be so rad. So that's good. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, I don't absolutely hate this. But again, did this take a lot longer than it should have? Mm. Mm. Well, I'm going to put some jazz on. I might try to put in my blue contacts, but I my eyes are probably going to water like crazy and ruin this look even more. That's okay. Oh, does it look that bad? Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Here is the finished look. I kind of honestly feel like just an old lady. Uh, mm, I'm, I don't hate how this turned out in the end, but again, the process was just a bit much. So, take my advice. Don't do... Oh, my face. Mm. Don't do it with latex. Don't do it. Just create the the lines with eyeshadow, honestly, because this was a lot of work, mates. Mm. <laughs> Thank you guys for getting through this with me, because this was a lot. I'm going to have to edit a lot of things to make it not as long, but this took me hours to do. And I don't love it, which makes me a little bit sad, but I don't hate it either. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for washing. Washing? Thank you for washing. I just look like an old wizard, maybe. Uh, I'm going to go wash my face, though, because it ain't right. Bye! Winter's coming.